This video will be a review of how to take a patient's vital sign. When you are planning to take a patient's vital sign, you need to gather your equipment. You will need a blood pressure cuff that is the appropriate size for the circumference of the patient's arm. You will also need a stethoscope to take the blood pressure. To take an oral temperature, you will need an oral thermometer. Here are two different types of thermometers. With each of the oral thermometers, a probe cover is used when taking the temperature. When you enter a patient's room, you should introduce yourself and tell the patient what you will be doing. Next, you should ask the patient to identify themselves. It is best to use a casual conversational tone such as saying, hello, my name is Kenya, I'm your nurse, and I need to take your vital signs. Can you please tell me your name? When taking a blood pressure, the cuff should be placed directly against the skin of the arm. No clothing or material should be, to be between the cuff and the arm. If the patient has on a long um, sleeve shirt or a jacket, ask the patient to remove the jacket or roll up the sleeve of the clothing. If the sleeve cannot be rolled up or the patient cannot remove their clothing, you can place the blood pressure cuff over the um, clothing. However, this is not ideal. You want to ask your patient to sit up straight with their back against the chair and their feet flat on the floor. Next, you insert your, the, the stethoscope earpiece into your ears and you take the bell of the stethoscope and place it over the brachial artery. You first want to palpate so that you can feel the brachial artery. Place the stethoscope over the artery. You should hear a pulsing. You may hear the heart rate the pulse, you want to then um, inflate the blood pressure cuff by locking the um, screw on the bulb and squeezing the bulb at, to inflate the cuff. Once you no longer hear the pulse of the heart rate or the heart, you will then stop inflating the cuff and slowly deflate the cuff by loosening the lock on the bulb or the screw on the bulb. You want to allow the air to be released slowly and you're listening for the sounds um, through your stethoscope. And the first sound that you hear will sound like a thump, thump, thump. And that is your systolic blood pressure reading your top number of the blood pressure. As, you, as the cuff is deflated, that sound, that thumping sound that you hear will go away. That, at the point that you no longer hear the thumping, that is your diastolic blood pressure reading. So you will have your systolic and diastolic blood pressure readings and you will uh, make note of those on the patient's chart. 